I find this scientifically fascinating. You're listening to KUCI Irvine. Disengage this computer now. Broadcasting at 88.9 FM. Hello, computer. And on the web at KUCI.org. The most reliable computer ever made. And streaming through iTunes. Don't expect any mercy during the Great Robot Wars. And Peter Radio brought to you by machines. Returning to normal broadcast in 3, 2, 1. Listening to Ryder's Little Plastic Groove with the one and only Omar Santana live in studio. Check us out at plasticgroove.com. You can watch the live video feed of Omar in studio. Once again, it's at plasticgroove.com.
my truck driving ass motherfucker. Yeah, wind your motherfucking windows down now. your fucking
Once again, you're listening to Riders of the Plastic Groove with Omar Santana live in studio. Check us out at plasticgroove.com. There you can see Omar mixing live in our studio. Once again, at plasticgroove.com. sometimes some for better and some for worse listen here's the story of the switch that i knew so many years but now he's a bitch fucking feeling to get suck my d-
all the night freakers What equal sleepers Those who might be Boss crashed in the cascade Demon catch trades Last missing piece In this puzzle of rap thing The world in a twist Lost for who to blame Make a wish Like the flame And talk to boomerang Yo, Again, you're listening to Omar Santana live here in studio on Riders of the Plastic Groove. You can check him out mixing live in studio by going to plasticgroove.com. Once again, go to plasticgroove.com, click on the video link, and you can see Omar mixing live here at KUCI. Also, want a special thanks to Claudia for hooking us up with Omar.
writers of the plastic room. From the creator of Don't Touch That Stereo! I want you all to know! Master Masters is in the fucking house! Yeah! We're gonna kick some ass tonight! We're gonna kick some fucking ass tonight! Cause we got a brand new band of tricks! So, yo! Bring the melody! Thank <laughs> you.
Once again, you're listening to Omar Santana. Again, you're listening to Omar Santana. You're listening to Omar Santana. Once again, you're listening to Omar Santana live here on KUCI. This is Ryers of the Plastic Groove. I want to say special thanks to Claudia. Check out Endless Love to the Old School page on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash Endless Love to the Old School. That's all one word. Endless Love to the Old School on Facebook. Also check us out at plasticgroove.com.
get down to business. Riders of the Past the Groove here on 88.9 FM in Irvine with Omar Santana live in studio playing hardcore for you guys. Check us out at pastthegroove.com. You can see Omar mixing live in studio. Just go to pastthegroove.com. Click on the video button there. Also, don't forget to check out Facebook. Oh 
my hardcore soldiers, my soul jets. We're gonna bring this fever on you guys, bringing you the real hardcore. I see my hardcore soldiers. Let me see if you're alive. Let me see those hands up in the air. Yeah, let's do this. When I say hard, you say core.
Once again, you're listening to Ryder's Little Past the Groove. Want you guys to check out Facebook.com Endless Love to the Old School. That's all one word. Facebook.com Endless Love to the Old School.
That means forward. You requested it, so we
Again, you're listening to Riders of the Plastic Groove with Omar Santana. Check us out at plasticgroove.com. Also, check out the video feed. Also, check out facebook.com slash endless love to the old school.
writers of the plastic news.
You're listening to 88.9 FM KUCI in Irvine. This is Riders of the Plastic Groove. You've just been listening to the one and only Omar Santana. Yeah! Sorry, sorry. It's sorry. okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> just getting excited. <gasps> Who's with us in studio? How you doing, Omar? Good, man. Good, good. Dropping some stuff for you guys out there, man. Some Great. hardcore breaks and dubstep. Great stuff. Yeah. You're playing at a party tomorrow? You want to tell us a little something about that? Yeah, I'm playing at the... Uh, Escape to Neverland. Escape to Neverland. That was uh, MC Lou Cypher. Roger Palermo was cragging. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm playing at the um, House Lounge tomorrow. In Maywood. In Maywood. Thank you. Yeah. In Maywood. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to be uh, gonna be killing it tomorrow. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome party. I want everybody coming Slamming. out there. Hell yeah. So... Yep, yep. Um, yo, we got to give props to. Well, first of all, thank you, Dennis. Oh, thank you for having me, out, man. Um, we got to give props to uh, Claudia. Yep, she uh, she's the one that helped put this together. And uh, you want to give a plug on the? Uh... Yeah, on it's. Uh, oh boy, let me. My mind, I forget the. Yeah, my brain is fried <laughs> right now. <laughs> it is. She's at Facebook. Dot com blah, 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 blah. endless love to the old school it's and all one long word endless love to the old school remember that 
Yeah. Also, I got, I got some endless love for Dennis right now. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, 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 no, 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 I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you to DJ Rubreen also for bringing in the mixer. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. That was a big help. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the tacos, by the way. That was that was fantastic. Oh, you're welcome. Thank your wife for that. Sorry, it was no fun, okay? But hey, you next know, time. Hey, that's fine. Oh, that's that fine. deep fried butter. <laughs> 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 okay, well, Uncle Noah has some questions for you. Oh boy! So I hope you don't mind. Do I owe him money? Do I owe him money? No, I don't. I don't think owe like five bucks. Five bucks. I owe Uncle Noah five bucks. Okay. Uncle Noah? <laughs> no. <I'm sorry. laughs> okay. On, sit on my lap, Uncle Noah. <laughs> All well, right. not again. He has two questions. They're pre-recorded, so okay. here we go. This is Uncle Noah. One two one two. He is the Dominator. Omar Santana. Omar, it's your friend DJ Uncle Noah, and I'm sorry that I'm not able to be with you tonight down there at the station. Dennis invited me to come, but unfortunately I'm out of town. But I have a couple of questions that I wanted to ask you that I think that the fans listening at home would find quite interesting. And the first one is kind of a long story, and it kind of goes back to some of the early days, but I think the folks would be really interested in hearing about this. Now, back in 1996, I picked up a record on the Rampant Records label uh, called Gosh by Immigrant. And it's got this wicked breakbeat that runs through the tune and starts the tune off, and it's just incredible. And this beat has driven me nuts since then, because I've heard it in other tracks and here and there and back and forth. And I can tell that the break is, it has elements of the Amen break in it, but it's cut up in an interesting way, it's very creative. Now, I go searching back, and what I find is that back in 1991, here's this track, Temptation, by Karina, and there is the break. And I think that this track is the source of it, I think that this is where uh, Immigrant sampled their break from, and uh, where all the subsequent tracks uh, got the sample from so but you know I'm still listening to that wicked break and I'm saying man okay how is this thing actually constructed and what is it constructed from so as I keep digging I wind up back in 1990 with a tune called Together Forever by Lizette Melendez now this is definitely a different breakbeat in this tune but I can hear similarities between the Together Forever breakbeat and then the break beat that's in Temptation by Karina. So I then say to myself, okay, what is the common factor between the beats in these tunes? And what I wind up getting down to is that both of these beats were programmed by Carlos Berrios, who is one of the early pioneers of edit music, as they called it back in the breakdance days. Now, Carlos, as you well know, went on to become kind of the backbone of the freestyle genre. And these two tracks, Together Forever by Lizette Melendez, as well as Temptation by Karina, are pretty good examples of that freestyle genre. Now, uh, what Carlos was able to tell me about the Temptation beat uh, was he said that it's Funky Penguin and Amen Brother, along with the Roland R8 drum machine, so you got kick, snare, hat, tambourine, and crash, and uh, then he backed up the bass kick with an additional 808 kick that he triggered from an Emu SP-1200. Now, he went on to tell me that he took the time to painstakingly shift the R8 kicks and snares to fall exactly on the loops kick and snare, and that's why that, uh, that breakbeat just sounds so amazingly tight. Now, I know that there is a connection between you and Carlos Berrios, because I read an interview with Carlos Berrios where he specifically mentioned your name. So, I'm interested in finding out more about these early days, what your involvement was with edit music or freestyle or this kind of thing. I mean, I could definitely see that this could have influence on your hard hop sound. So, if you could for us, could you tell us a little bit about the early days of Omar Santana, the freestyle edit music, and your times with Carlos Barrios. Yeah, wow, that's a long, long question. What um, was the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, uh, whew, yeah, Carlos, first of all, the editing kings are the Latin Rascals. I came after that, and 
took editing to the next level with the transformer edits and uh, the stop edits and the uh, air edits, which had spaces in between, and the machine gun edits. I was the one who created a lot of that, which you kids get to do on Foody Loops now. I used to do on uh, half inch reel to reel each piece, each tiny piece one by one. So I was the uh, originator of a lot of that stuff. Um, but as far as Carlos is concerned, yeah, I met him um, through a friend and I needed a partner because I was doing so much work. I was working on, um, as a kid, working in recording studios as with the, I, you know, worked on the Rolling Stones, uh, Duran Duran, I uh, worked on Public Enemy, I have worked on, oh my God, Mantronics. Um, the list goes pretty much on and on. As far as freestyle is concerned, um, I even worked uh, with Quincy Jones and stuff like that, Teal Rock. Um, yeah, as far as freestyle is concerned, as I, I produced and wrote a record, a freestyle record called "Don't Break My Heart." Did that when I was, uh, and that was when I was a kid. Actually, originally it was supposed to go to Shannon, and um, I decided not to give it to her. And um, Albert from the Latin Rascals uh, brought uh, Wilma to me, Sapphire, and which I came up with the name also. And uh, basically, the rest is history. After that, and put it on, put it on cutting records, and. Uh, yeah, that was my first uh, freestyle. It wasn't even called freestyle at the time, but that was my first uh, introduction into um, into the dance scene, I should say. When actually I was what 17 years old and had that record all over New York on the radio, which was pretty pretty cool. And, but I really didn't like. I like. I just like working in recording studios and remixing and producing uh, uh, stuff. So yeah, so that's that's how I met Carlos. Berrios and we continued to stay good friends and uh, yes he definitely came up with a uh, unique genre of um, freestyle or new school I don't know what he what he called it at the time but uh, yeah the, the man's very 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 talented and, and I give him uh, major major props but I'll still uh, I'll still uh, yeah. out edit him any day <laughs> he learned from me by the way so uh, yeah he's but he's the man so, yeah. Okay. Well, here's question number two. Oh, God. <laughs> this, this one's, it gets to the point a little bit faster. How so. about I edit it quickly? I'm, yeah. I am in the editing king, so no, I'm kidding. Okay, here's the second question from Noah. Hey, it's DJ Uncle Noah back with you once again. Omar, I've got one more question for you, sir. Now, the four on the floor disco kick drum beat is cornerstone in american electronic music but lately we've seen a resurgence of interest in early rave music that made use of breakbeats especially and we've definitely seen the proliferation of dubstep which has a syncopated beat to it and a couple of years ago there was discussion that over in england a bunch of the folks that used to be with fresca nova records like couple rock and others were looking to try to start a big beat resurgence over there in England. Now, we didn't really feel much of the reverberations of that over here, uh, but you, sir, you are the hard hop heathen. You definitely know how to work with breaks and keep a good, interesting, and even hard edge to the tunes when you're using them. So my question is this. What do you see as the future for breakbeat electronic music? And can we expect a new hard hop sound coming? Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, how I came up th with the genre of hard hop was I was doing hard. Obviously, I was doing hardcore. I created a label called H2O Recordings, and um, and I used to love listening to trip hop and hip hop and stuff like that. And I started incorporating um, hardcore sounds in in uh, trip hop and started speeding it up as I like things faster. You know, most most guys like to push up the at the time the turntable the pitch. So I just started doing that, and uh, I just came up with the name Hard Hop Heathen, and then from there that genre sort of took off on its own as, as Hard Hop because I just started using heavier drums, which is kind of funny because for some reason my stuff usually breaks in Europe and comes here first, and so when I originally put out some of the, tr the Tricked Out Sound, which was my other label that I uh, came up with, um, it didn't take to America too well, and I definitely got a lot of backlash from, you know, some of the Florida DJs saying, "Oh, it's it's too hard, it's too this, it's too." I'm like, "Okay, well, whatever." 
uh, as soon as it started taking off in, in Europe and started getting licensing in Europe, it came back over here and everybody started playing it. So it seems to be that I have to kind of, you know, set the trend quite a few times with, uh, with certain styles of music before people start accepting me back, um, back into America. But, you know, that's what I really don't care because I, I, I love, I love music, period. No matter, you know, who tries to, tries to, uh, pigeonhole me or keep me in a box, I don't care. I just, I do what I want to do and, uh, hopefully people, uh, accept it. And for the most part, they do. When I, uh, when I let loose, people freaking go crazy. So, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I think there is going to be, uh, a resurgent in, in breaks, by the way. Um, because I was in Spain last year playing uh, some pretty big shows, and uh, I was dropping a lot of my breaks, which does pretty well over there. They they, they love it because it's pretty hard. Um, and I was dropping some dubstep, but I had they wanted me to go back into breaks because the kids just were going crazy for the breaks. And uh, a couple of some of the UK DJs that were there with me, they were showing me some of the new breaks, which is basically a lot of. Uh, it almost sounded like slowed down drum and bass, which is kind of funny because. I usually I used to do that a lot, just you know, drop the drum and bass to to to, to uh, thirty three, <laughs> and play and mix that up with my breaks. That's how I got a lot of my uh, ideas. So, but that's uh, seemed to be the sur- resurgence that was coming uh, back up that they were showing me that uh, it was a lot of uh, breaks um, that had more of a drum and drum and bass uh, influence, and uh, it basically just sounded like slow down drum and bass, but it was pretty minimal, but it was pretty fat. So, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to be experimenting with a lot more breaks again, and and uh, I mean everything you heard tonight was pretty much every well not everything. I'm sorry, there was quite a few other tracks that I dropped in there, but all the dubstep was uh, a lot of stuff that uh, myself and uh, my partner Evan Lewis uh, produced. We have uh, two albums out on uh, Moist Music called uh, Dub Terranian. We have Dub Terranian One and Dub Terranian Two. They're out in the stores right now. You can get them online. And um, and I have a new hardcore for the Headstrong Volume Five uh, CD that is out right now on Moist Music. So just quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of stuff that's out there. So and I'm doing a CD release party for the hardcore for the Headstrong Volume Five CD at Ron Decor's store, um, Doctor Free Clouds on the uh, 16th of August, by the way. So and we are working on a new Headstrong. Uh, party in October because <laughs> uh, everybody is pretty much fiending for it and um, I decided uh, I'm sorry not just me Jason J I have to give him the the props on this because he really uh, LA Massive LA, LA Rave LA Rave oh yes uh, uh, was that Spaceman Spaceman yeah, Hard the, Roots LA. Yeah, these are these are all the guys. Uh, but it, Jason J definitely is spearheading this uh, campaign for the next Headstrong. He's super gung ho about it, and I'm very happy that uh, we're all part of the same team here. And I think uh, the kids are gonna pretty much go crazy for this party. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So you're actually going to be at Ron's store. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be at Run Store. Oh, Are yeah. you gonna be? I'm gonna do playing some, a little bit. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna play and do some CD signings, give some some CDs away, um, stuff like that. You know. Are they gonna do the whole barbecue thing? Usually, uh, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I love food. You know, I, I am. I notice he's been doing a lot of barbecues at <laughs> well, the store lately. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm. I'm Spanish and Italian, so I. Uh, <laughs> I love my food, so. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have my pasta man no no i, I love uh i you know i so hope i sure hope so because i <laughs> that'll make me very happy i'm gonna put that in a contract like now <laughs> from six to ten you better have some food. six to ten you better, <laughs> probably gonna have some potato chips and no 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 i'm pretty ron, ron always takes excellent care of uh of me and stuff like that. yeah he's a good guy yeah, he's awesome so great record and, and helen and props to helen too yep so. glad they're still around oh yeah Fighting to keep it alive. Yeah. It's so hard, man. I, I don't, you know, I'm very happy they're still around, yes, because it's a, it's a very tough market out there right now. So, yep. You know, it's drfreeclouds.com. Free pl- little plug there. Hell yeah. <laughs> that, drfreeclouds.com. Go there. Spend money. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to plug right now? Um, no, that's about it. I mean, um, you know, just, uh, be on the lookout for a lot of new jams that are going to be coming out on uh i'm not sure if i'm going to relaunch h2o right now i'm looking into it right now i'm always i'm always looking for some new producers i mean uh, 
I am going to be producing. Oh, I'm also well. I'm playing in Europe in December. Pandemonium. That's uh, that's a pretty big show. It's uh, it's kind of cool because I get to. I think it's like a, a battle with Roughneck DJ Roughneck, which is which is pretty cool because I always looked up to him, him and uh, Predator and stuff like that. Uh, those guys were definitely the trendsetters of of uh, hardcore. I felt at the time and stuff like that. But um, yeah, no, it's uh, just be on the lookout for a lot of new. Uh, Omar Santana products coming out as far as uh, hardcore and and some uh, some dubstep and breaks. So, but I'm always looking for some new talent. So, hit me up on my uh, Facebook pages. I have uh, two two Facebook pages. So, if you can't get through to one, uh, my other one, you can sign up to. It, so. Is it Facebook.com Omar Santana or yeah, something like that? I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Vinny bag of donuts. It's what it. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll I'll double check that and, <laughs> and post it on the blog so people can get a hold of you. Yes, and one, once again, give a give a plug to uh, Claudia for for putting this whole thing Yo, together. And the, and Major all, props all the, to her. All the She's hot, by the way. She is freaking gorgeous. <laughs> so uh, stay away from. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she's beautiful. That's Claudia at Endless Love to the Old School. Just go to facebookcom slash love to the Old School. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, what? That's, huh? that's my sound effect. I'm throwing some sound effects in there. M- mm. m- much, much mm. love and much love huh? to all the Facebook listeners, man. People who tuned in, they listen no more in this in the set. Thank uh, you very Matt, much, Matt, Matt Pross. Thank you, everybody. Much love for the scene out there. And you guys give us info as it comes along for your party that you're doing. We will definitely, uh, definitely do that. Definitely do that. We have quite a few shows. Um, we have a lot of shows in the in the pipeline, but I can't mention everything until everything is finalized. But there's quite a few. Maybe we could come back and do some ticket giveaways or something like that. Uh, that's a definitely. That's a definitely. good idea. Yeah, yeah. That's a good. Come idea. back and do another set. Oh yeah, do another set. Yeah, we yeah. could do that. Yeah, we could yeah. do that. Yeah, that's not a problem, man. Maybe we can get a later spot so we don't have to worry about the oh. editing so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. That's kind of that's kind of hard, I, man. I. You it's know, all good. in the beginning, of, okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning of the hour, I had to remember where the curse words are, and that's why I had to keep filtering the curse words out. But it was so hard when you're playing hardcore because you're kind of in the zone. It was getting double filtered. <laughs> I was, I was I know, doing it too. <laughs> uh, I know the cops <laughs> and, are outside and plus, right and now plus waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. So it's all good, man. But it's it's good. It was all good. So. Yeah. Okay, once again, thank you for coming down. My pleasure. My pleasure. You've been listening to Riders Little Pass the Groove here on 88.9 FM, KUCI in Irvine. Check us out online at plasticgroove.com. One more. I just want to, it's Omar again. I want to give a shout out to my lovely daughter, Alina Santana. That's my baby girl. She get to watch you online? Uh, I don't know if she watched me, but I'll, I'll... Make sure she uh, gets to see it sometime soon. So, love you, Lena. I'll, su- I'll send you the link for the video so okay. she can watch it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, once again, thank you for coming down. This is Riders Little Plastic Groove on eighty-eight point nine FM KUCI in Irvine. Riders of the Plastic Groove, KUCI eighty-eight point nine FM Irvine.